In this video with the On King, I'm going to show you a little bit about the Amboss add-on. I'll show you as well how to customize the color of the underlines and such like that, which is subject to change, so check the description below and we will update it as Amboss updates their add-on. Here we go. Okay, firstly, I just want to start out and say that this video is not sponsored or anything. I just really like this add-on and I wanted to show you guys how to use it. Um, so the first step is you're going to need to go to Anki, the Amboss website uh, and download the add-on from there. And what it's going to give you is an amboss.anki add-on file. So for those of you that have never done this before, I'll show you real quick. You're going to go to Tools, Add-ons, and here's your add-ons thing. You're actually just going to drag and drop it into there. And you can see there's a little plus sign and it will add the add-on that you'll need to restart. So but I already have it. We're going to get going and I'm going to show you what this does. Just go into a card here. You can see it's underlined something here with the Amboss green, and it's just going to pull up there like a basic learning card, just a quick summary of the word, which is really handy. And then if you click on this, it will actually go to the full thing. And so I'm going to go over here where I've already pulled it up uh, just so we don't have to wait for it to load, but it's going to pull it up there and you can see that there's rails and there's basically what it was just showing me, but it, it'll pull up so you have everything else to go along with it. So that's kind of how it works. And when we go to the back side of the add-on, you can see that there. But I'm going to show you a cool thing that they just added recently. And if you downloaded it before you have this feature, uh, you can just re-download it off their website. Uh, you can show it just on the question. So I can uncheck that. And now you can see it disappears, but it will only show on the question side. So it still pulls up there. Uh, there's also a thing that will let you just turn off the add-on if you ever wanted to turn it off. So super handy. Uh, the next thing I want to show you is how you can actually change the colors of this. And this is subject to change. I know Amboss is working on making this a little more user friendly. So uh, check the description of this video for changes. We'll keep that updated as Amboss updates their add-on. But for this part, I'm going to click E for edit and go into the edit thing here so that we can change the styling and scroll down to the bottom where I've put this. Uh, and this is the CSS class here that they're using. And it's a text decoration, so it's an underline. And I've set it to inherit, so it's just using what the default is. But we could change this to red if you wanted, and I'll copy and paste this whole thing in the description of the video so you guys can use it. But I'm going to change that to red, and if we go back out here, you'll see that these underlines are now red. So that's a really handy feature of it. Now one thing that I've done on purpose here is to show you that that was underlined when we first go into the card. Notice real quickly that it is underlined and then it changes to red. So it kind of hides your own other lines. So I've changed this to a little thing of my own to make this a little bit easier. Oh, actually, I'm going to go back and show you one cool trick that I found is super handy if you have the pop-up dictionary. So here's the one for Rails when we've got pneumonia. If I click on that and do the shortcut for pop-up dictionary, which is Control shift d it will actually use pop-up dictionary on the Amboss card. Super cool feature that those work together uh, like that. That's uh, I know Glutanimate participated in making this add-on and pop-up dictionary is his, so uh, shout out to him. He's definitely helped a lot with all of this stuff. Now, so here's my other card, and you can see what I've done differently uh, than what I use personally. So I've made it so that this actually is right below the underline, so that your underlines are still there, and you can keep your formatting. And I've made it very light, uh, kind of for the night mode look. If you're using the default one, this may not be best, and you'll want to find a different color. But let me show you how I did that real quick. Um, I'm going to go into the editor here. And basically what I did is I added a bottom border, so it's no longer an underline. And this is the color that I have chosen. So like I said, if you're using not night mode, uh, you're going to want to pick a different color. I'd recommend just finding something like this, htmlcolorpicker.com, um, or, or something along those lines. You can just find colors that you want, click on them, and it's these numbers. To, uh, so that, that it's easy to pick the color that you want. Now the last thing that I've done is uh, I actually, this is the one that I use for me personally. You can see it's even more faint. Uh, you might not even be able to see it on your screen. You can see it a little bit better if I switch here. Um, and I, I just like it so it's very hidden, but when I hover over it, it actually highlights the whole thing so I can see it a lot better. And this is the way that I did this. Again, I'll copy all this into the description of the video just so you guys can use it as you want. So I used an RGBA color instead, which gives it an opacity of 2. And I changed it so when it hovers, it's an uh, opacity of 0.8. 
So uh, just kind of a little handy thing that I've done makes the colors a little easier for you and I've incorporated that into my card type. If you want to do any of your own stuff, uh, this w3schools.com is really handy. This is where I learned everything uh, and you can change the text decoration, color, style, style uh, you know, whatever you want. You can make it an overline or however you want. Uh, we also have this video on how to format card style thanks to a Reddit user that helped us pick up this CSS stuff. This is just really basic. We're not coders, uh, but it can kind of help you customize it however you want to. But I think this is a super useful add-on just for getting a quick thing. It helps keep the big picture in mind. And so that's why I want to make a video for you guys. Good luck. Thanks for learning with the Onking. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here as well as follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Patreon for additional tips and tricks. That's at OnkingMed. Also, here's our email if you'd like to reach out.